Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and in today's video, I finally want to get going on that Toy Story, rumored Toy Story Hotel, slated to replace Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel at Disney at the Disneyland Resort. I've been so busy, I haven't been able to cover it, but I definitely wanted to, so this is my coverage of it. Also, thanks to the members who joined the channel, you guys get this video first before everybody else, so that's awesome. And, yeah. Let's get started. You have, you'll have a lot more perks coming soon. But, as you can see, Paradise Pier Hotel just doesn't fit anymore because it's Pixar Pier. So, a Pixar-themed hotel would work much better uh, Whereas the second batch option versus just demolishing it over entirely. And, the entrance porto call or porto che, I can never tell what it's called, but the valley area looks fantastic. I love the Pixel Ball and Luxo, Luxo Balls right there and little blocks as it supports. Moving on into the um, in the main atrium lobby here, you can see they just took a picture of what's already there, basically, and they're just kind of sprucing it up a little bit. You have Buzz Lightyear's spaceship uh, theme. That's for that glass elevator's theme, too. You just have uh, Forky and Jesse and uh, Rex and some friends from the wall. I guess they'll be hanging from the wall in those hang ladder slash parachute type contraptions. Then you have Woody and uh, Buzz as like a centerpiece statue right there. I think it's nice. I feel like they could do a little bit more to spruce up this entire room because it's kind of so beigey and kind of old looking. Again, I'd much prefer them demolish the whole hotel and give us a ground up Toy Story Hotel or something, but this is better than nothing. Moving on to the lobby area, you have looks like two regular check-in stands and two ones two themed as Rubik's Cubes. Hopefully they're all themed as Rubik's Cubes because those regular, again, white ones look just kind of bland in my opinion. But I do like the little play, is that, is that a play area or just seating area uh, for children and for everyone all the way for the families and the dice as being used as supports. And I love that idea of a Scrabble board uh, as the ceiling. That's pretty awesome. I like that clever idea. Um, that looks fun. And in this next rendering here, you got uh, this new archway here, colored Toy Story colors with a lot of lot, lot Luxo balls all over the place. It looks like it's, this is a big one. Oh, no, this is that same one from the previous rendering because there's the dice again. Um, this is just from the other side. And again, looks like only half of the check-in stands are Rubik's Cubes, which kind of sucks. Uh, wouldn't suck less if the other beige, the plain, uh, plain ones were some other toy. But there's Emperor Zerg and Buzz again. Looks like maybe a mirror right there. Looking over here in the pool area, this is a cool part because the water slide is currently there. It seems it's a Jenga tower. I love that with the Rex with a whole bunch of stuff on hanging up. Then the pool itself is themed as a water fountain or like bathtub. Um, yeah, bathtub because that's a rubber ducky. I like that idea. That's pretty cool. Um, really emulates that these toys are larger than life. And you're just tiny little, tiny little toy soldiers. Speaking of the toy soldiers, I haven't seen them yet. But I'm sure they'll be featured in this hotel somewhere. But yeah, again, I love this retheme. It's if it does happen, it will it gives the hotel like some life. I mean, the hotel that's there now is cool, but just doesn't really have an, like an ultra immersive theme. This will push it more towards that ultra immersive theme level. There's a Toy Story logo there, and the rest of the pool looks like maybe some crayons of the cabanas there, existing cabanas or new cabanas. And it looks very nice. I would dig it. If this happened, I would dig it. And I say if it would, because this was a pre-pandemic um, idea. Presumably it's part of maybe that Disneyland Ford idea. Because again, there's new theme park space slated to be in those parking lots. So obviously people wouldn't, hopefully people wouldn't want, Disney wouldn't want people looking at a bland hotel. So if they really themed it up, that would be pretty more pleasing to look at. And again, the Paradise Pier Hotel just doesn't fit um, because Pixar Pier is there and it's not Paradise Pier. So they should retheme this hotel anyway to some Pixar property, even if it's not part of Disneyland Ford or anything. They should just do that anyway because Paradise Pier Hotel, one, it sorely needs it really to be demoed. But if, again, a strong 
enhancement if it's not demoed, and they really need to theme it to something big star to continue continue that uh the cohesiveness of that area of the park and the resort. Here's the side plan of the hotel. You can see the the water side, the couple pools there. Uh, you got um, you got a splash play zone. Um, you got I like how the Uno cards are there as like the ground right there. Uh, that's Uno card themed play area actually, and a lot again a lot of those Luxo balls. I guess those are umbrellas. It looks like a viewing deck. Um, and then there's a chessboard. I'm not sure if that's an that's an entry entry point. Uh, so I mean it's probably not a real chessboard, but it's uh, a checkerboard. Sorry, but um, that's nice. And then you, see you got a bing bag lounge. The nice movie screen. I'm not sure if this stuff is there already. Again, I haven't actually been inside the Paradise View Hotel, so I don't know if some of this. I know the water side's there, but um, as you can see that from the parking lot. But I don't know if like the movie screen is there and these play areas are there and it's gonna be rethemed or maybe added. You can let me know all that in the comments below. But I like this. I really like this idea. Um, Paradise Bay Hotel, again, it looks old, bland, and since they won't demo it, since I don't know if they can because I know they have an agreement with the Japanese owner that built it, I think for 30 years. I don't know if that's impacting why they just can't demo it, and maybe it's, it's certainly cheaper to retheme something. Or, uh, and since this is the hotel, and the urban planning world, since... This, this is where this fits. It would be called an uh, adaptive reuse project because you're just reusing the old building and you're sprucing it up seismically and enhancing the building, basically. Uh, so we call it a theme park world. We call it a re-theme, but it's really uh, an adaptive reuse project. That's what you'll see in the permits and, and planning commissions when this goes through um, for that. So, yeah, I'm not sure if they're going to... It's definitely cheaper to adaptive reuse a build, reuse a building than demo it and build something new. But uh, Disney has the money, I'm sure. I hope it, the only thing stopping it is the agreement, because uh, then otherwise they really should take this building down. But let me know in the comments below. What you guys, what do you guys think? Do you rather they just take out the building and build a brand new shiny new hotel, or do you like this retheme, or do you prefer the retheme, or do you want do you like both? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, and let me know if you guys think of the Toy Story theme. I know a lot of people online were like, Toy Story is overused, and to an extent, I can see what they're talking about. But again, I think it's a massive upgrade over what's there right now. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and oh, and if you don't use Toy, if you don't use Toy Story, then what other Pixar property or Disney property would you use for the retheming of this hotel, or what other theme in general? Subscribe more theme park updates. Again, thank you all the members who watched this first. If you want to watch stuff first and get some exclusive uh, access to exclusive merchandise and other cool stuff, live streams, comment on live streams, then definitely think about becoming a member. It's only a couple bucks a month. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a fantastic day.